Hey guys, I know it's been a pretty long time since I made a video, but I've been dealing with shit and I don't want to get myself angry by ranting, but I've decided I can't ignore it right now because our fascist sweet potato of a president has just done yet another really shitty thing. So he, uh, I'm sure you've all seen it, because it's everywhere in the, in the news, he's decided that uh, transgender people can't be in our military. This piece of shit, I want you to understand the exact hate I have, especially for this little incident. This fucker got five deferments out of Vietnam, because he, he was too scared to go and fight for our country. He got deferments for bone spurs, but he's got no medical problems, he's never had any medical problems, he's perfectly healthy. Healthiest person that's ever been president ever, is what his doctor keeps telling us. And all the while, while he had all these bone spurs that he couldn't go and, and fight in Vietnam, he was playing varsity sports. Some physically strenuous stuff, but the bone spurs didn't interfere with that at all. But no, 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 he couldn't go to Vietnam. And don't get me wrong, I think Vietnam was a terrible war. I think it was a bad idea overall. But to, to do something like that, to hide and cower your way out of going to fight for our country... And then you go, turn around and ban thousands of brave American soldiers from fighting, from fighting over in Iraq and Afghanistan, from fighting in other places in this world, from serving in our military. You are a fucking coward. You're so worried because your approval ratings are going down. This investigation with Russia is not going away. You failed to get any major legislation passed because it's a clusterfuck over in your own party with your fucking lunatic alt-right people who are leading the country at this point inside the, the the West Wing, inside the White House, battling off against already piece of shit, but less crazy, at least, members of the establishment of the Republican Party. You don't want to get anything done, so you do what every Republican fucking does when their approval ratings start to go down, and they pander to the evangel... Oh, fuck, I can't even talk. The far-right Christian base of your party, who are like, fuck the gays... Fuck women, fuck trans people, as long as we get to support our straight white male country, as long as we get to, to, to fuck over all minorities we possibly can, these far-right motherfuckers will applaud you. And I get it. Some of them were starting to turn because of all this shit you're doing. How you're failing to accomplish any legislation. How the economy is just, like, all these jobs you made, all these promises you made on jobs, bringing these jobs back, and all those companies that you said you saved have now started closing their jobs and sending them overseas like they were gonna do anyways, but they put on a little show because they fucking like you because you're gonna cut their taxes. You do all that. All this shit's happening. And you do whatever they do, and they fucking attack the most... The most in danger people in our country, trans people, have been shit on forever. And you're just continuing this cycle. You said during the campaign, you were going to fight for the LGBT community. I didn't believe that. 99% of the people in the LGBT community didn't believe that. But now we just get to see more of the true colors. You ripped down the gay rights, uh, the LGBT rights page on the White House website immediately. You've dropped the case over North Carolina. You've worked to just destroy every incremental piece of progress we've made towards gay rights in this country, or LGBT rights in this country. And now you go after the trans members of the military, the people who are willing to fight and die for you. To fight and die in your wars, Mr. Trump. I will never call you President Trump. You are the fascist peach, the president, Mr. Trump, piece of shit coward fuckhead, but you are not my president. You have shown yourself even more. I, even I didn't think you'd do something like this. And I thought you were pretty fucking garbage. These people, men and women, are ready to die in these countries. To defend this country. or Of course, there's problems with our current military. There's lots of them. There's rampant sexual abuse in our military. There's abuse of civilians over the countries we're supposed to be protecting. But these people are going because they believe in this country. Sources put the amount of transgender people in our military anywhere between 6,000 minimum 
to over 15,000. 15,000 trans people. Men and women are ready to fight and die for this country. And you are just... I'm fucking angry about this, if you couldn't tell. I'm pissed off. Because this man is a fucking coward who's attacking the most vulnerable members of society to earn him some cheap fucking political points. Donald Trump, you are a coward. You said you're going to drain the swamp, but you've done nothing but load the White House and the executive branch up with the most corrupt motherfuckers. And anytime anyone shows you the slightest bit of backbone against your fucked up agenda, you boot them the fuck out. Jeff Sessions, who I have no love for, that man is an unapologetic racist, has spoken out against you or resisted some of your unhinged demands and you're getting ready to boot him. That's fucking telling. That guy supported you from day fucking one and the second he shows any back when you start booing him out. You're a coward, Mr. Trump. You attack the trans member of our military. What have they done to you? What what harm do they, could they possibly do? If you're talking about money, you want to talk about that financial... Uh, the financial costs on this shit? On possible surgeries and what fucking not? The military spends significantly more. I, I, some, it was like four or five times more on Viagra than they do, than they will possibly, at the top end estimates that they will spend on, uh, on surgery for transgender soldiers. So there's no financial thing here. Our military budget is already fucking bloated as it is. But God forbid we allow trans people in it. Even though they're already here. They're already fighting and dying. You're a piece of shit, Mr. Trump. And anyone who goes out here and supports this move, you're a piece of shit too. Because you just seem to have this fundamental misunderstanding, or maybe not even misunderstanding, a refusal to educate yourself on this issue. This has nothing to do with disruption, disruption of the military. This has nothing to do with the financial cost. This has everything to do with this man is a fucking coward who knows his approval ratings are tanking, who knows he could very easily be out of the fucking White House well before the end of his term. And this isn't going to do anything to solidify support around him, even when it means pandering to the most hateful and revolting and bigoted members of our country. I am disgusted with the direction our country is taking right now. It took eight years to get even the minimal amount of progress towards trans rights in our country. And Donald, Tri Donald Trump is shitting all over them in six fucking months. <sighs> I'm pissed off. And you should be too. This shit is not fucking okay. Whether or not you are a far-right, Bible-thumping Christian from the Bible Belt, from fucking rural Mississippi, Jesus says, love thy neighbor. I don't remember reading in the fucking Bible where Jesus says, love your neighbor, except the blacks, the gays, and the trans people. Fuck them, right? I don't remember that shit. Maybe it's in a fucked-up secret Bible that you guys have been hiding from me, but I didn't see it. Until you are ready to every fucking single one of you sign up and fight and die in this fucking country, until you, Mr. Trump, are ready to fight and die for this country, to sign up, go through boot camp, go to a country where there's plenty of people that don't like you, until you're ready for that shit, shut your goddamn fucking mouth about these people. Because they are braver than you. They're a hell of a lot braver than me. I'm not going to go and fight a war. Fuck that. They are. They signed up their own free will because they love this country. And you're denying them that opportunity. So hell yeah, I'm pissed. And so should you. Fuck you, Donald Trump.